everyone it is May 10th of 2011 I um, did a video the other day about how I bought the elf palettes for my small collection of um, Mac eyeshadows and I decided um, that I would give myself a limit as to how many I was going to collect so I counted the other day I went to a Mac store and I swatched my whole hand I stood there and like 10 people uh, kept asking me if they could help me I felt like punching them but I just wanted to look at the colors and I wrote down everything that I was going to get because um, you know I want to figure out how long it's going to take me everybody's on a budget and really beauty is doesn't come over paying your rent so I want to be um, you know balanced about it so anyways I decided that since I wasn't going to get a huge amount of eyeshadows I wanted to see them in one shot instead of having these quads by elf and or buying the MAC palettes that are fifteen dollars and possibly getting three of them so I thought maybe I would stick my eyeshadows on the back of a large handheld mirror so it would kind of be like a painter's palette with a handle and this way I could do my eyeshadow at home and then hang it on the wall but I didn't know how the humidity would you know damage the eyeshadows or it's it's not good for portability um, the other thing I thought of is a shallow cigar or pencil tin because you could fill both sides um, if it's hinged you can do the the lid and the bottom part um, and, and just glue your eyeshadows in there and it would you know be pretty attractive um, they come in aluminum so it's magnetic as well I did find one at Michaels the bottom part was very deep so I figured that I could put my brushes in there and then the lid would have all the eyeshadows so I kept looking around that was 250 on clearance that was a good idea but I can't put that in my bag because it was a pretty large tin I found the perfect thing for me it's a photo case that holds four by six photographs, a um, hundred of them. This was a dollar fifty nine, and look how thin it is. Okay, I'm gonna fill both ends of this, and it comes to about thirty six eyeshadows that can fit in here, thirty six to forty depending on how you stack them, or you could just do the bottom and put a mirror right here. And since it is see-through, you can just take a, a permanent marker with a thin tip and you can write the names of the eyeshadows here. Or what I'm going to do is just put it on an index card for myself. If anybody wants to know or if I have to remember, I can always come back home and find it. It's not an emergency, you know. Um, so I'm going to just maybe Gorilla Glue or lightly glue these in so they're permanent. And the portability issue, I mean, look how small this thing is. This is my hand against it so I can put this in my purse and it's secure I bought one in pink so I can either continue to um, buy the eyeshadows or put more in here or this could be for lip gloss and blush and then you just have two um, nice makeup cases so that was that um, I did buy two lip glosses from NYX there are buy one uh, buy two get one free at Ulta today I got a beautiful bubblegum pink with pink and blue and gold little flecks in it I, I I'm gonna try swatch it but my lighting is not really good yeah eh, it's, it's not good but I'm sure you can go on Flickr or uh, Temptalia or whatever and find it on somebody's lips. The one I'm wearing right now is called Sponge Cake. It's gorgeous. I'm going to swatch this just so that you can see that there is a difference. Or maybe not. <laughs> anyway, if this is a copper mauve with the same color um, flex as the crystal soda and I love it it's really nice it's uh goes well with the color of my lips which is already pretty pigmented so anyway those were my 
two new uh, finds, the um, lip glosses and the photo cases as palettes. I'm really excited about it and I'm going to get my money back for the four e.l.f. Um, palettes that I got because these will be permanently glued in here and uh, I like that idea better anyway because I like to not neglect the eyeshadows that you're investing in. I mean at $11 a pen, do you really want to be in a hurry one morning and not try the colors that you really want it to wear, you know, and just by grabbing a quad. So anyway, it's not a life or death issue, people. I mean, this is just eyeshadow we're talking about. Um, you know, paying the rent is more important, but this is fun. It's a little escape from the reality of the world. And so anything that we can do that's a little cheaper that will um, do the same thing as buying something more expensive. Um, I'm all down for that. So, all right, listen, I'm getting a call from my sissy, so I'll talk to you later. Have a great night. Bye-bye.